Hey guys, in this lesson we're going to talk about valency versus valence electrons. Some learners confuse these two things, but they're actually different. So let's go draw the structure of, for example, lithium, okay? So we know that lithium has a nucleus filled with protons, and because it's an energy level number two, it has two energy levels. Well, it's, in it's in period two, so it has two energy levels. Let's do it in a different color. Let's do the energy levels in green. So there's the first energy level and a second energy level. Okay, now we know that it has, in energy level number one, or in row one, it's got one, two electrons. So there they are. And then in energy level number two, it's got one electron. Okay, so that is what lithium would look like. Now, valence electrons. Valence electrons is the number of electrons in the outer energy level. Okay, so if we look at the outer energy level, so your outer energy level is the one that's on the outside, as the name suggests. And what we can see here is that it's got um, one electron. So it's got one valence electron. So therefore, um, lithium has one valence electron. That has nothing to do with valency. Valency is something else, okay? Now, if you understood the lesson, which we did recently, uh, previously where we spoke about whether something would like to gain electrons or lose electrons. Well, it's very important that you understood that lesson to understand what I'm about to say now. We learned that if you have lithium, when it wants to, um, we said that the main reason why atoms bond with each other is um, we said that the main goal in the previous lesson was that um, atoms bond with one another in order to have a complete outer energy level. And so what we've learned is that lithium has two options. Option one, well, I'm actually not going to go over that because we spoke about that in the previous lesson. But what we learned is that it's easier for lithium to rather, um, it would be easier for lithium to lose this electron instead of trying to fill up the rest of this with seven electrons. That's not what's going to happen. So lithium would not add those seven electrons. What we learned in the previous lesson was that lithium would rather get rid of one of its electrons. So let's say here, during bonding, lithium will lose one electron. So, so it would lose that electron. Now here's where valency comes into it. So after lithium has lost that one electron, would it become overall more positive or more negative? Well, if we look at lithium, it's got three protons. Okay, so it's got three protons. And then if you take away one of these electrons, then it only has two electrons. Okay, or two negatives. So if you add that up, it's gonna have a one positive, and that is valency. Valency is the number that you put at the top here. So one, two, three, plus, and then this one is plus and minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. Those numbers, or these numbers, sorry, are what we call valency. Whereas valence electrons is how many electrons does it have on the outside? So let's quickly go look at oxygen, for example, and it'll make this example even better. So we're gonna go look at oxygen now. So we know that oxygen obviously has a um, nucleus with eight protons, so I'm just gonna say plus eight over here. And then it's an energy level, or well, it's in row two, so it's gonna have two energy levels going around, one and two. In the first energy level, it's gonna have one, two electrons, one, two, and then in energy level number two, it's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. So always put them separate. So, and there's always four different places, five, six, there we go. So if we look at the number of valence electrons, remember that's not the same as valency, then you would look at how many electrons are on the outside. So that would be one, 
two, three, four, five, six. So it has six valence electrons. But now, if you had to look at valency, if you had to look at valency, then you have to think about if oxygen wanted to bond with something, remember it would always try to have a complete outside energy level. And what we learned in the previous lesson is that oxygen would rather, instead of losing six electrons, instead of losing all of these, it would rather gain another two. So oxygen would rather gain two electrons. So let's just say yeah, oxygen would gain two electrons. So at the moment, it has eight protons, and at this moment it has eight electrons. So that's eight pluses and eight negatives. But if it gains two electrons, whoops, I don't know what happened there. So if it gains two electrons, then it's gonna have 10 electrons, and then the overall charge would become negative two because it gained two negative electrons, and so now its overall charge is negative two. And that is the valency, you see? So the valency would be negative two. So valence electrons is how many electrons it has on the outside before it gets into bonding. And then valency is what does the charge become after it has bonded? So valency is the charge of atom after bonding. Okay, and that's where we say plus one, plus two, plus three, plus minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. Those numbers are valency numbers, okay? Now I wanna summarize this for you in a very easy to remember kind of way. So valence electrons is gonna be the same as the group number. So this is group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four, group number five, group number six, and group number seven, okay? Whereas valency is going to be the plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. Okay, so that you must just remember. So for example, if we look at, if we look at some examples now, then we could ask it like this. So for the atom fluorine, okay, which is over here, I want you to see how many, what is its valency? And what is the number of valence electrons? So valency we said is the plus one, plus two, plus three, uh, plus minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. So let's go write that. Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. So for fluorine, it would be negative one, okay? Um, the number of valence electrons is the group number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven. If you if you wanted to go and draw fluorine out, um, I'll quickly show you. Obviously, it would have a nucleus, which is positive. Then it's an energy level row number two. So it's got two energy levels. And in energy level number one, there are one, two electrons. There they are. And in energy level number two, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so there we can see there are seven valence electrons. Let's try another example. So here we're gonna use the atom sulfur. So sulfur is over here. So to work out its valency, it's plus one, plus two, plus three, plus minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one. So for sulfur, its valency would be minus two, and to work out the number of valence electrons, you could draw it out if you want, or you could just remember that it's just gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it is in group six, and so it would have six electrons. If you did want to go and draw it out, then remember, it would have a nucleus, which is positive. And then because it's in row number three, it's gonna have three energy levels. One, two, Three. Oh, well, let's just quickly, there we go. Now in energy level number one, it's got two electrons. So let's go say one, two. In energy level number two, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in energy level number, or in row number three, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six. And that's where we say it has six valence electrons. Our last example will be aluminium. So aluminium is over here. Now to work out valency, you can just remember these numbers, minus three, minus two, minus one. So that's gonna be um, uh, three for this one, you could say plus three. And then for the valence electrons, well, it's in group one, two, three. So that's also gonna be a three. Now, once again, if you wanted to draw it, then it's got a nucleus, which is positive. And then it's got, it's in row three, so it's got three energy levels. One, two, three. And so in energy level number one, it's got two electrons. One, two. In energy level number two, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons. And then in energy level number three, it's got one, two, three electrons. So one, two, three. So there we can see it's got three valence electrons, which are the electrons on the outside.